Like, you need to give people a reason to watch live. Live is very fucking difficult to mm -hmm. do. It's expensive. Yep. And no one cares if it's live or not unless you give them a reason to care. Can they be a mm -hmm. part of it in some way? Mm -hmm. uh, is it something that is going to make a shitload of news and they really want to see it first before, you know, the local news too covers yeah. it? You want to be the one when you're going to the water cooler to bring up the topic, not be hearing about it. Yeah, I, I think Coachella is the perfect example of live streaming. It's, it's very well executed. Hank and their team mm -hmm. does it super well. And the reason it's so important is because um, Coachella... At least a few years ago, I don't know, Coachella may have peaked, Music Festival may have peaked, mm -hmm. but like surprises used to happen. Like big musical surprises, like yep. Paul McCartney would come out on stage. You just stage. have a random guest. Yeah, it's about collaborations. I mean, let's not forget uh, the Tupac resurrection from the dead, the hologram. Like yeah. they actually, that is a big budget festival. I, mean, I would guess it's the biggest. It they is have the biggest budgets, in the world, yeah. yeah for these stunts. I mean, it's, it's a cultural event of the year. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. and, it and of course, like I want to watch it live mm -hmm. and you know, there's also, Hey, it's a pain in the ass to go to Coachella. It's a real pain. <laughs> yeah. You're hiking the, I don't know which is worse. The, the couple hour drive there or that final like two mile walk that you're just getting pelted in the face by the dust. Yeah. It's, it's a toss up. <laughs> I know. Uh, and so some people can't go, some people won't go, whatever. Yeah. Win-win. That's a good example of a live stream, right? 